so when Infonic hit the wall, it was at a time when the business was booming in growth, and yet you ran out of growth working capital at exactly the time when credit wasn't available in the market. Tell me what you learned from that experience. Well, you know, sometimes when you build a business that scales that fast, you make mistakes, and we did. You know, we didn't put the right processes, procedures uh, in place for that organization to grow from zero to 450 million in five years. And, you know, one of the things I learned along the way is the processes and procedures that are repeatable are among the most important things you can do as you scale a business. Yeah. The people who get you to where you are are not always the right people who get you to where you want to be. And as an entrepreneur, one of the things that's really important to us is loyalty and hard work. So, you know, at, at Infonic, we had great people and, and some of the smartest people I've ever worked with in my life. But we should have probably brought in some new people as the business got bigger to help us scale and go to the next level. And it also didn't, didn't help us that we got caught up in the debt crisis of, of 2007. I mean, the, the story really is we ran a great business. Wirefly, which was our primary portal, is still the largest third-party seller of wireless phones on the Internet in the United States today. So this is, you know, uh, we built a great company. We didn't have the right capital structure to go into the type of downturn that 2007, 2008 represented. We had a, a lot of debt through a bank uh, that was a very, very large bank that uh, decided that they were going to call our debt, and they did. Uh, the, the business was sold to a private equity firm that, that, after I left, restructured it. But you know, sitting in a business that was you know one time worth well over a billion dollars that's being sold to a private equity firm and restructured was not an easy thing for me personally because, as an entrepreneur, you get very closely associated to that business and you really feel like, in some ways, it's it's part of your family. I used to say it's like a child until I had children. Yeah. Then it's like, no, it's not like a child because I would do anything for my kids. Yeah.